What's up guys, it's Reno from Reno Pones Mobile Gaming, here again with another Durango Wildlands video. Um, I've been seeing this requested a lot on Reddit, on the Facebook group, on other forums. Um, people want to know um, about the skills in the game and what's the best way to go. So, I'm going to give you guys a little breakdown of this. Now, there's no right or wrong answer to this question of what skills to use. Um, and a lot of it's going to rely, depend on, um, what your clan needs, really. Um, working with other players is the only way to really, um, be successful, especially towards the end game. You're not going to be able to unlock everything in every single skill. For instance, cooking. Let's see here. See, there's a lot of stuff in here. Um, I'm not very versed in cooking. It's not, I can do a little bit, but see, I have a lot of skills that still aren't unlocked because cooking's not something my character really does that much. But now weapons, see, I have a lot more of these skills filled in and it's mainly just the stuff that I need, but for tools as well. And see, this is one of the main things my character does. I still don't have all of these unlocked. I'm still working on some of them. Um, my character is a warrior. And one of the best combos if you want your character to be good in combat is to take either melee or ranged. Pick what you want in there and just max it out. So with melee, you really need to pick what type of weapon you want. The, the specialization tree, you're really only going to get points in one, maybe two of them if you want to build it like that. But you can't switch weapons in the middle of combat. So it really only makes sense to pick one and go with it. So I took Axe Master, you see here's melee stuff. Now I fight with two-handed weapons, so you can see I don't have any points in one-handed actions. I don't use one-handed weapons. All my points are in two-handed because I use two-handed axes. I also can do a little bit of butchering. As you can see, you're not going to unlock everything in every skill. So it's better to pick and choose a little bit and specialize. Now see, uh, other than a little bit in defense, I have like Nothing. Oh, see, I'm going to unlearn that, too, because I don't ever use defensive stance to fight with. So now I have extra skill points. Um, again, a lot of this is going to be based on what your clan needs. See, I'm not going to put any points in that because I don't really need it. Um, so, a little bit further of a breakdown, though, is what you feel. Oh, see, I need to learn that because making bags is useful. So I'm going to go into one of these skills that I don't use very much. I'm going to see what I can unlearn out of here. That's only one skill point. See, I don't ever use that, so I'm going to unlearn it. Um... 
The bag is really important to me as a crafter. So see, within tailoring, I have a lot more stuff unlocked that I can actually craft. Um, and the reason for that is because this is one of my main skills. This is pretty much one of the things my character does. Um, so, let's say your clan tells you that they need a builder. You would want to take construction. And I have a couple things in here, but if your clan needs a builder, you would want to put your points into all of these. You would want to have as much of this stuff unlocked as you could. Because that's what your main function for your clan is going to be. If your clan wanted now see if you're not making weapons or tailoring if you plan on buying all your tools and your armor and your gear um you don't really need processing and butchering and gathering as much gathering is good for pretty much everything your gathering your survival and your combat skill are going to be the three main ones that are leveled up the most But, yeah, it mostly just depends on what uh, what you want to do, how you want to play your character. If you were going to play ranged, you'd want to have that leveled up. And you'd want to take all of these. And you would slowly unlearn your melee skills because you can't craft a bow until level 15 at least. But, um, yeah, so that's it for this video. Um, be sure to like, leave a comment, share it, and if there's anything you want to, um, see another video on, go ahead and let me know. I'm out. Peace.